Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be learning about symmetry. Symmetry is a Greek word meaning to measure exactly like one another. Symmetry means one shape becomes exactly like another when we move it in a certain way, either turn, flip or sideways. Let's start with differentiating between symmetrical and asymmetrical figures. Here I have 0 to 9 digits. I'll try to divide these numbers into two equal parts. I can see that the numbers 3, 0, 8 can be divided into two equal parts while the rest of the numbers cannot be equally divided into two parts. The numbers which can be divided into two equal parts are symmetrical numbers while the rest of them are asymmetric. 3 has one horizontal axis of symmetry, 8 has two axis of symmetry, 0 has two axis of symmetry. Let's perform one more activity to understand the concept of symmetrical figures. Here I have taken a A4 paper, a brush and a poster color. First, I will fold the paper. Then I will unfold it. I will make a blob of color. Now again I will press the paper. I will fold and press the paper. Once again I will unfold the paper. What do you observe? The shape on the other side of the fold is the same as that on the first side. The picture that is formed is said to be symmetrical. The quality of being made up of exactly similar parts facing each other or around an axis is known as symmetry. Not all objects have symmetry. If an object is not symmetrical, it is called asymmetric. Now, we will try to understand the axis of symmetry. Here I have some alphabets V, A, M, T, Y. Let us find out the axis of symmetry. V has vertical axis of symmetry. The alphabet A has vertical axis of symmetry. The alphabet M has vertical axis of symmetry. The alphabet T has vertical axis of symmetry. Even Y has vertical axis of symmetry. Another way of showing axis of symmetry is using a thread. The alphabet, alphabet B has horizontal axis of symmetry. Even the alphabet E has horizontal axis of symmetry. The alphabet X has horizontal axis of symmetry and also vertical axis of symmetry. Similarly, the alphabet H has horizontal axis of symmetry and vertical axis of symmetry. The alphabet N has no horizontal axis of symmetry and no vertical axis of symmetry. Even G has no horizontal axis of symmetry and no vertical axis of symmetry. So, these are asymmetric letters. Here I have cut out of A I fold it and I see that on opening it, I get back the original shape. It has got only one vertical axis of symmetry. The alphabet O has one vertical axis of symmetry and other horizontal axis of symmetry. And when I open it, 
I get back the original shape. Let's find out axis of symmetry of different shapes like triangle, square, hexagon and an oval. A square has vertical axis of symmetry, horizontal axis of symmetry, the diagonal and even the other diagonal is the axis of symmetry for the square. This is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle has one axis of symmetry, the other axis of symmetry and the third axis of symmetry. The lines of symmetry starts from one vertice to the midpoint of the opposite side. The oval has vertical axis of symmetry and a horizontal axis of symmetry. The hexagon has six axis of symmetry from one vertice to the opposite vertice, from the midpoint of one side to the midpoint of the opposite side. Here I have made a braille slate with a special pen to draw symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes. To know how to make this braille slate, you can click on the link given. Hope you understood what symmetry, asymmetry and axis symmetry is. Now we will try to solve some questions to understand it better. We will try to draw line of symmetry for following objects, notebook. This is the line of symmetry, the horizontal line. This is the line of symmetry, vertical line. Notebook is in the shape of a rectangle. It has two axes of symmetry. Protector has a vertical axis of symmetry. The scale. The scale has a horizontal axis of symmetry and a vertical axis of symmetry. The scale is also rectangle. Like the notebook, it has two axes of symmetry, the horizontal and the vertical axis of symmetry. Now we have a scissor. It has a vertical axis of symmetry and no horizontal axis of symmetry. Now can you tell which of the following shapes are not symmetrical along the vertical line of symmetry? The oval has vertical line of symmetry, the five pointed star has vertical line of symmetry, the isosceles triangle has vertical line of symmetry, the rectangle has vertical line of symmetry, the swastik does not have any line of symmetry. An ambulance takes the patient to the hospital in a hurry. In such times, the other drivers on the road can easily read the letters in the rear view mirror and can make way for the ambulance. This is also an example of lateral symmetry. Such symmetrical figures we get to see in nature, in leaves, in flowers, fruits, in flying birds, in the historical buildings, in some vehicles in and in many of our day to day useful things. Hope this video helps you identify symmetrical and asymmetrical objects in your surroundings. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.